So you see, Jonathan, obedience is good for you, and God will always bless you for it. You'll see. Well, now, come on, let's get going, okay? Yeah! yeah let's go! <laughs> Tiger's best of all. No, the tropical birds. The rhinos. I like them all. You like them all? <laughs> I know just what you mean. In fact, I can remember somebody else who liked all of the animals. Who was that? Come on, we'll show you. Come on. God said to Noah, build an ark. So hold your hands in a circle and spread it apart. The ark has a door that is so high. So two of you lift your hands to the sky. Good. Then Noah brought the animals two by two. Noah brought two monkeys. This is what they do. They walk. And the elephants say, 
And the lion say, Rawr! And the monkey say, Ooh, 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 ooh. Noah brought the animals to a boat. Closed the door and they sailed away. They rocked back and forth on great big waves. The dove found land and they gave a shout. They landed on a mountain and that's where they got out. 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 Then they all took a nap. <sighs> Boy, Noah must have really loved the animals to be cooped up with them on a boat for so long. You're right, Andy. He must have. Come on, let's talk about it. You see, he also knew that each and every one of those animals were created by God and that he had been specially chosen by God to take care of them. Even the skunk? <laughs> Even the skunk. God created everything. But you know what? He saved his most wonderful creation for last. More wonderful than the lion? <laughs> The flowers? Yes. More wonderful than a chocolate-covered donut with sprinkles? <laughs> yes. Than the sky and the moon and stars? Even the stars. Can't you guess why it's us? We are the most wonderful creation of all. <laughs> So wonderfully, you're so wonderfully, we're so wonderfully. 